This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutra.com, whole family nutrition. You know, in France, when they take the baby off the breast and start introducing real food to baby, it's one vegetable pureed with a little bit of the vegetable broth that you steamed it in. So slightly cooked vegetable. Mom makes it herself. And one vegetable gets introduced as a pureed food. And then they stabilize that over several days when baby seems fine with that. Then they go to a second pureed vegetable. Hmm. That seems like way easier than, where's the baby food? <laughs> do you, do you I know what this country, baby what, food. What, Well, funny you should say that because in this country, in America, the Pediatric Association prescribes cereal as the first food. That's an immediate GMO. That'll drop you the baby's immune system. You are immediately GMOing. You are jacking their blood sugar, and you're, tr- you're going to create an addict. You're going to create a carboholic, and that's what we've done. So, and there's on and on about, you know, when is the time right to bring a baby into solid foods, but that's another conversation. But just to but think just about solid like food that doesn't like have that. poison in it. We just need it to be more conscious poison. and aware. <laughs> Way right. more, because France has nowhere near the obesity and diabetes that America does. And now we can see why, because babies are weaned onto vegetables. And I'm not talking mashed potatoes. I'm talking pureed broccoli, pureed green beans, awesome. wow. pureed yellow squash. Uh-huh. So they're trained as a palate. Is Children GMO banned when they, in France? Isn't I, GMOs I banned? I think so. I think France and Italy have banned it. India I think so has too. Banned it. Russia because banned it. people Mexico think out here to the other conversation that's going on that's 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 a little bit off is a gluten intolerant. Think you're gluten intolerant? Actually, you're probably just poison intolerant for the most part. No, I'm not going to buy that. No. So there is a real thing called gluten intolerance. So so. But in France, people really don't had... feel it as much eating a not a, as a much crepe right. versus in the U.S. The wheat is different wheat over is there. Different. Ours has been hybridized. Our, ours Got has it. really been hybridized. Mm. So that's part of the issue. But then people in France don't have the same medical uh, obsession that we have in pediatrics in this country, which is mm. the minute there's something wrong, you get that child on an antibiotic. I know that's it's. And again, we could do right. a whole show on <laughs> on the 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 mistakes that people make with children, and when mm. children's bodies are trying to run fever or trying to cure itself of something and how we intervene and make it so much harder for the body. Oh, so wow. the average French adult is gonna have a much healthier digestive tract with that ecology of the gut flora that we were talking about before. Theirs is gonna be way better, mm. way better. Americans is the worst. We, we, are, we have the worst guts, we have the most amount of stress hormones, and we have the most amount of dementia. Thank you for joining us for the Healthy and Family Show. Visit our website at healthyandfamily.com. That's healthyandfamily.com to see what all the other doctors, experts, and real moms have to say about keeping your whole family healthy. This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutro.com, whole family nutrition, and aired on the Goldstone Network. People, planet, future.